weather. In Darliston, it's 1 degree Celsius with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect rainy weather, with a high of 7 degrees and a low of 5 degrees. From BBC Sports News. The latest BBC Sport update. Newcastle up to 13th in the Premier League after a 2-1 win over Burnley to give them a third successive victory. Rafa Benitez saying it's crucial for his side to keep taking points from the teams around them in the table. Every game for us is like a final, so this one to get three points against a team that is close to us, so it's, it's massive because it uh, gives you more confidence. Uh, you can see the table and it's OK, we are in a better position. It still is a, a long running race, so we have to carry on, but we are doing well and hopefully we can continue during this month. Burnley still 17th in the table, just one point above the relegation zone. Elsewhere, Manchester United defender Victor Lindelof is expected to be out for some time after picking up what Jose Mourinho described as a proper injury in their draw against Crystal Palace at the weekend. United taking on young boys in the Champions League later. Left-back Luke Shaw says they're looking forward to putting that Crystal Palace nil-nil draw behind them. You know, I look in the training ground and I look around the change room and I think everyone wants... You know the same, and that, and that's to win games and to climb up the table. And yeah, the last couple of days, everyone's been very disappointed. Commentary on Five Live Sport from seven tonight. Mourinho saying he will walk to the match again if there's a repeat of previous traffic issues that have seen them fine this season. Manchester City will be without Bernardo Silva, Ilkay Gundogan, and Gabriel Jesus for their match away at Lyon. Pat Guardiola is hoping his side can win all three group stage away games for the first time. The last month was so good in our side, it was so good. We played in a high, high level, scoring a lot of goals. And, and never, I think, in my career, I won three games away in Champions League group stage, never. There was nine years in Champions League or ten years. I never, I think, I was able to win three games away. Some football news from the USA. Former England left-back Ashley Cole, released by LA Galaxy today. The former Arsenal and Chelsea defender had joined in 2016 been named captain in March. Zlatan Ibrahimovic was one of 16 players named in their squad for the 2019 MLS season. England's netball team are playing international games on home soil later for the first time since winning the Commonwealth Games gold in April. The Roses play Uganda in Liverpool and London in a three-match series. Head coach Tracy Neville says it's important the side can grow their fan base at home ahead of next year's World Cup. It's been a long time since the Commonwealth Games and even since January when we were back on home soil. So from my point of view, it's so refreshing to be back in England, playing around our country and getting our fans involved. Um, We've got a massive World Cup next year to build towards and in doing that, we need to build our resilient and our ruthless fans so that they become our eighth player at that competition. And there's commentary of the first game from 6.50 on 5 Live Sports Extra and the BBC Sport website. Finally, the 22-year-old British-born Thai driver Alexander Albon will race in F1 next season. He's been signed by the Red Bull junior team Toro Rosso. BBC Sport from the Met Office. Yellow warning of fog affecting England, London and South East England, Buckinghamshire, Hampshire, Milton Keynes, Oxfordshire, Reading, West Berkshire, Wokingham. Valid from 5.45am Tuesday the 27th of November to 12am Tuesday the 27th of November. In Amazon News, Target just kicked off their Cyber Monday sale and are taking 15% off of everything on their site. This includes all of Amazon's hardware which is mostly still matching Amazon's own Black Friday prices. This means items like the Fire Read More. Get this channel's app deal. The channel's app is on sale for $14.99. This is the lowest price that this app has ever been, which is a discount of $10 off the regular price of $24.99. It might seem like read more. Get this 2x Fire TV Stick 4K deal. Call it a late Black Friday deal or an early Cyber Monday deal. But Amazon isn't done releasing new Fire TV sales. The latest deal being made available is a two-pack read more. AFTV News isn't available right now. Here is a list of 20 things you should do, or at least consider doing, when you first set up a new Amazon Fire TV device. This list covers a wide range of things from configurations to improve picture quality, read more. From TFL, the TFL rail line is reporting part suspended. The TFL rail line is reporting severe delays. All other lines are reporting good service. From TV Guide. 
The top eight shows to watch on Tuesday, November 27th. At number eight, it's live Leon versus Manchester City in the Champions League on BT Sport at 8 p.m. And number seven, it's coverage of the UK's Strongest Man 2018 competition on Channel 5 at 7 p.m. At number six, it's documentary Victoria, a royal love story on BBC4 at 9 p.m. At number five, it's new series Our Yorkshire Farm on Channel 5 at 8 p.m. At number four, it's new festive advice with How to Spend It Well at Christmas with Philip Schofield on ITV at 8 p.m. At number three, it's new documentary Inside Russia's Toughest Prisons on Channel 5 at 10 p.m. At number two, Tony Robinson goes Egyptian Tomb Hunting on Channel 5 at 9 p.m. And finally, at number one, it's new drama, Mrs. Wilson, on BBC One at 9pm. Now available, try asking Alexa what's on TV. Getting jacked with science does not contain any recent content at the moment. From Entertainment News. This Christmas. I need someone to show me my place in all this. The magic of the big screen is yours to give. Come on! With epic Star Wars blockbuster, The Last Jedi. Marvel Studios' phenomenal Black Panther. This ends today. Disney Pixar's stunning Coco. Oh, yeah? Where are your ancestors? And the Disney classic, The Lion King. The king has returned. Bring the magic home on Blu-ray and DVD. If The Lion King's up there on your list of favourite Disney movies, then you won't be disappointed with the live-action remake. That's according to its director, John Favreau. It's expected to be in cinemas next summer, and John promises fans it won't be too different from the original. The music is wonderful. We want to preserve that. The story is great. It's just a matter of presenting it while honouring the original film very closely. But if you love the original film, hopefully this experience will encapsulate that for you. Amber Heard says she and her Aquaman co-star Jason Momoa are just like brother and sister. Speaking to us at the film's world premiere in London last night, Amber admitted she feels lucky to have worked opposite him. It's like working with a very gigantic version of your little brother. We just have so much fun. He's so easy to get along with. And I always joke, you know, you, you always know where he is. That kind of energy is infectious, especially on set. And the Pogues' Shane McGowan has finally tied the knot to his partner of 32 years, Victoria Mary Clark. I'm Jamie Burton with Entertainment News, first for showbiz. And if you like this, rate us on your Amazon app. From Sky News. From the Sky News Centre at nine. The British academic jailed in the UAE for spying has returned to the UK and thanked those for securing his release. Matthew Hedges, who says his ordeal is surreal, arrived on a flight to London. Number 10's dismissing Donald Trump's comments after he suggested the UK could have problems trading with the US after Brexit. He also says the agreement which the Prime Minister reached with European leaders was a great deal for the EU. But Cabinet Office Minister David Liddington doesn't think trade will be a problem. I've never thought that negotiating a trade deal with the United States or anybody else was going to be easy. President Trump has always said he puts America first. He'll fight hard for American interests in any trade talks. We need to fight equally hard for British interests. Mr Liddington also thinks the PM can remain leader even if Parliament rejects her deal. A report claims so-called gatekeeping GPs could be hampering cancer survival rates in England. The Health Foundation says medics are under pressure not to refer too many patients to specialists. The charity also says England's failed to close the gap on the best-performing nations. Co-author of the study, Bex Fisher, says more funding is needed to catch up. We're going to need significant investment, not just in diagnosis, diagnostic equipment, so more MRI scanners, more CT scanners. But we're going to need investment and development of the workforce we need to support that process as well. The majority of teenagers think more time should be spent on relationship and sex education. Over a third of 16 to 17 year olds surveyed by the National Education Union also believe the subject should be treated more seriously. There's a warning police officers are being left to pick up the pieces of a mental health system in crisis. A watchdog says forces are responsible Responding to calls which should be handled by other agencies. And Thomas Cook says the summer heat waves affected demand for its holidays and hit profits by £30 million. It also slashed prices because of increased competition. That's the latest. I'm Tanya Snugs. From BBC News. 
the BBC. So Downing Street has confirmed that Theresa May wants to hold a television debate on her Brexit plan with Jeremy Corbyn. Labour says the party leader would relish a head-to-head with the Prime Minister. In the US, Donald Trump has criticised the agreement, saying it could make trade between the UK and the US more difficult. The British student accused of spying by the United Arab Emirates has arrived home and thanked everyone involved in securing his release. Matthew Hedges was given a pardon by the UAE's president. He has always denied all charges. Rodney Dixon, QC, is the lawyer for his wife, Daniela. I think this has damaged those relations uh, and it is a matter that has to be addressed in the future. It can't just be wished away because it's shone a light into what the UAE authorities are are really about and, and how they go about their business. And I think we need to think very carefully as the UK how we engage with a country like that in the future. It's claimed thousands of cancer patients are dying unnecessarily every year because NHS England hasn't improved care quickly enough. The Health Foundation says GPs need to play more of a role to improve early detection rates. The Department of Health says improving cancer care is a priority. Five people racked up more than 8,000 calls to the Metropolitan Police last year, costing £70,000 to answer. The callers all have mental health problems and the police watchdog has released the figures to show that the police are becoming the default service to deal with mental health. Thomas Cook is warning its annual profits are set to be down £30 million due to this summer's UK heatwave. It's the company's second profit warning in two months. And the Conservative peer, Baroness Trumpington, has died at the age of 96, a year after she retired from the House of Lords. During the Second World War, she worked as a land girl and a codebreaker at Bletchley Park. Her husband was a headmaster. This was her account of a school event. For 17 years, I'd presented the swimming cups and polo cups on speech day at the edge of the pool in my best clothes. I just had my hair done, can you imagine? And I jumped. And half the school jumped in with me to save me. My husband wouldn't speak to me for three weeks. BBC News from the Met Office. The latest weather forecast for West Midlands. Met Office weather update. Today. Starting cold with patchy frost and extensive fog and low cloud. This will take a while to clear with any brightness short-lived as cloud and rain spreads in from the west. Rain will turn heavier this afternoon with strong winds. Maximum temperature 8 degrees Celsius. Tonight. Wet and windy weather will continue for a time this evening, before clearing eastwards. A brief drier interlude will follow, perhaps with some patchy fog. However, further rain arrives later. Minimum temperature 5 degrees Celsius. Wednesday. A wet and windy day in store with local gales over the hills. Rain will come and go throughout the day, but it will be noticeably milder. Maximum temperature 15 degrees Celsius. That's all from your flash briefing. You left the social network for your life on Facebook and Twitter with me, Ashley Bot. Uh, the V, uh, the V, uh, that's all, folks.